Hello friends and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast. The American Radiator Building was designed by Raymond Hood and J. André Fulho in a mixture of the Gothic Revival and Art Deco styles. It was completed in 1924 as the headquarters of the American Radiator Company. René Paul Chambelan, a frequent collaborator of Hood and his associate John Mead Howells, created the ornamentation and sculptures. The original structure measuring 338 feet tall consists of an 18-story tower above a base of five stories. The western annex only rises five stories. According to Architectural Forum magazine, the lower floors form a projecting screen back of which rises the towering bulk of the building. The writer Eric Nash described the building as the first true expression of the Art Deco skyscraper silhouette. The original tower contains several setbacks to comply with the 1916 zoning resolution. The first setback is on the fourth floor, and there are also setbacks on the 12th, 17th, 22nd, and 23rd floors. Above the 15th story are indentations. Those on the northern side of the building are beveled to make the tower appear like a shaft. Within these indentations are narrow window bays. The shaft-like design permitted the tower to be illuminated by natural light from all sides. The shaft-like form was not applied consistently. The rear conformed to the city setback requirements for backyards, so the south facade of the base and tower are continuous. The American Radiator Building was designed in a black and gold color scheme. Hood used the black and gold palette because he believed that conventional office buildings with their white masonry facades and dark glass windows were monotonous. He had compared such windows to waffles and wished to find a color to make the window openings more conspicuous. The primary color of black was used to signify coal, while gold-coated decorations were used to symbolize fire. The gold was actually bronze powder placed on cast stone, a technique which was devised after a number of experiments by Hood and Fulho's team. Hood had visited Brussels just before the American Radiator Building was built, and he had realized how golden colors had made gloomy and dingy buildings stand out, especially if their facades were darker. The original building's base is clad with polished black Swedish granite. The windows of the former ground-level showrooms contain large plate glass panes with thin vertical bronze mullions in front of them. The spaces below the windows were originally clad in red Verona marble. The main entrance is a round arched opening between two original showroom windows. They are modified Gothic style bronze pinnacles above the entrance opening, as well as a bronze frame around it. A cornice with corvals and modillions runs above the second story. Originally, they were nine corbels, of which six contain ornamental figures depicting negative human emotions. According to the New York Herald Tribune, the corbels were inspired by caricatures of medieval grotesques. The grotesques on the building were designed in a whimsical manner, with figures that include a pipe fitter with a wrench. The annex is designed in a similar style to the original building's base with polished black granite on the first two stories. The annex has similar plate glass panes and bronze mullions to the original building, but it has a revolving door at the center. The corbelled cornice above the second story of the annex is similar to that of the original building. The original building is clad with black brick starting on the third floor. The third story consists of bays with one or two windows each, as well as carved railings at the bottom of each window and gold spandrel panels above each window. These bays are separated by slightly projecting black brick pilasters, which in turn have gold pinnacles. This window pattern is repeated in the annex's third floor. 
The fourth and fifth floors of the annex are slightly set back from the first three stories and contain a facade of black brick with a gold cornice on top. Projecting brick piers divide these stories into several bays, each with double windows. The tower stories contain projecting bricks in various places, which give it a textured quality. Dark red, light red, amber, and white lights were placed on the setbacks to provide nighttime illumination. Cornices wrap around the building at the 16th and 20th stories. The facade contains various pinnacles and peaks clad with gold, which one publication compared to turrets in old English castles. These ornamental features are actually made of terracotta but are covered in gold leaf. Gold is also used on corbels, cornices, and the spandrels between stories, and the Gothic style pinnacles at the top of the building are ornamented with gold leaf as well. When the building was being completed, Hood wrote for Architectural Forum that false tops have gone out of vogue for office buildings as well as the fashion of putting on ornamental front on one or two sides of the building. The roof consisted of a water tank surrounding a chimney and installed on a frame. At night the gold leaf terracotta decorations of the American Radiator Building are illuminated. Hood intended for this to draw attention to the shaft. Hood chose not to illuminate the middle stories of the tower to avoid any simulation of daylight effects. The nighttime lighting gives the crown the appearance of a heated radiator. Other parts of the building were sometimes illuminated as well.